The Jacksonville Jaguars shocked everyone. Like, uh, somehow uh, finding a way to beat the Chargers, uh, being down, what was it, 27 nothing, and then also uh, finding a way to kind of take it to the Chiefs at Arrowhead. It was Arrowhead. It was kind of impressive. Definitely impressive. But today, uh, you know, and moving forward, uh, the main concern for the Jaguars is building a defense. And today, we're going to do that with our seven-round mock draft, and we're going to go right into it. So here we go. A lot of different things going on. Seven rounds, uh, high-speed, low drag, because we ain't got that kind of time, and I'm not trying to waste yours. So... Here we go. I got to see how this whole thing goes. Uh, so obviously for the Jaguars, you really want to go ahead and get a dude at corner, tight end, edge, uh, and also help out the offense and defensive lines. So I think the biggest priority is probably corner and tight end. Uh, those two I think you can wait uh, to be able to get uh, some things, but I still think there's going to be some corners that fall for some reason. But as we stand right here at 24, who's at uh – Let's see if the Bengals want to trade because I want to trade down a little bit to get some more ammo to uh, address some different things here. So will you guys give me a three, four, and a no, a three and a six to move down four spots? No. Three and a seven. Hey. Hey, we're back into the third round. So you basically get a third. You trade down four spots. I believe those corners are still going to be there. Uh, and so let's see who all went here. So Cam Smith went. It is what it is there. Uh, but you get Emmanuel Forbes there. I mean, he's right there. Also, Sidney Brown's probably going to be there. Garrett Williams probably falls. <sighs> Okay, I think sometimes we can uh, overthink some of these sometimes. So I think right now uh, you want to get some guard help. Uh, also, I want to trade back up into ooh, 39. What are they going to want for 39? So I want to give them our two this year. I know we're moving up, you know, 19 some odd spots, 18 some odd spots, a two, a three. <sighs> I don't love that. Two, four. Okay, fine. Uh, two Cincinnati's three. But you got to throw in 132 this year. What do you say? 146. Hey, sweet. So we get. So we traded the Panthers, uh, the Jaguar second round pick, uh, to move up. Uh, I think 17 spots here. Uh, you also give up 90 to a third rounder, but you also get 146 back, uh, which is a fifth rounder. So you get a two five for a uh, an early well an earlier two and a five for uh, a later two and a three. So I don't love it, but we're back up to where we want because I think that's exactly where Darnell Washington uh, is going to go. So right now. I think you start out with Emmanuel Forbes here. Uh, just looking at him and everything he brings to the table. He's six foot. He's a little lanky, uh, but I love me some Emmanuel Forbes. So we're going to go back down there. Uh, Darnell Washington uh, is there. So I think he's going to go right in this area. Like Darnell Washington, to me, I think he's just a, a mismatch waiting to happen. Uh, he's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, does he go much farther? I don't think you chance it. I really don't. Um, and so, Darnell Washington, where are you at? This is going to be a reach by PFF Sports uh, and Standards. I do not care. I do not click care in the slightest. You get your guy there in the second round. Uh, him and, uh, and and Trevor Lawrence are going to have a lot of fun. He's The dude can block for miles. He's going to catch. He can run. He can do it all. He's going to be a lot of fun. Ooh, Luke Whippler's there. Oh, Garrett Williams. Luke Whippler's there, Garrett Williams. Steve Avila also went off the board. That's tough. He usually goes kind of in that second or third round. So I just want to see who's going to be there at guard. So Andrew Voorhees tore his ACL, so he's going to be out a year. Do you go Whippler here and just try to play him at guard or center so you give him a, a little bit of a, a competition there? I definitely think so. So you got corner taken care of uh you've also got tight end taken care of you got to help out the offensive and defensive lines i i know that you don't need to go get uh, a center here but whippler i think can play a lot of different positions for you and he can do a lot of different things so i'm gonna go luke whippler here uh yes i don't even think it's uh, that hard of a decision so luke whippler uh then you're back at 122 or 121 127 so you got kind of back-to-back picks here things could be uh definitely looking up for you so Oh, KJ Harry's there. Travis Hodges Tomlinson. I love it. Dwayne McBridge. Okay. 
Also, the Jaguars low-key want a running back. Uh, who is that? I, I fell in love with. Who is it? Tyon Evans. Yeah, Tyon Evans, the, the the running back out of Louisville. The dude's a load. The dude's an absolute load. Can you imagine, uh, you know, uh, what that running back tandem would look like? It'll look uh, absolutely fantastic if you ask me. So, uh, he's a bigger back, so I think he's going to be able to handle the, the more pounding, if you will, um, and then just go from there. So, I absolutely love it. So, uh, Jacorian Bennett is also there. We got center uh, D-line Moro Ojomo. I I got to go with Moro Ojomo. And then if you can get, oh, I say McGuire. Who's going to be there at the at edge? Yusir Abdullah, Colby Wooden. Okay, there is a lot of uh, talent on both of these sides of it, but I really I I love Moro Ojomo. I think he is scheme friendly in just about any other uh, any scheme. It doesn't matter. And then you get Isaiah McGuire there too at edge. Ugh. This is shaping up to be nasty. So you get a little bit of edge help, uh, a backup edge help. That's the thing. Trevon Walker and company and Josh Allen, they're going to do their things. Not that worried about it. And then you also get uh, Moro Ojomo there. So, okay, things are looking good. So you got your tight end. You got your corner. You got your edge. You got a little bit of uh, running back help. And so Colby Wooden's there. Keandre Coburn. Cam Jones really intrigues me. He really does. Chandler Zavala there at guard. Like he falls a little bit. Jonah Tavai, hold on. Is Jaconian Bennett still there? I want to see who's there at safety. Quindell Johnson, Shamari Connor. I'm sorry, but I, I know that you don't want to double down, but Jaconian Bennett, I feel comfortable putting him anywhere. Like, Jaconian Bennett's going to be a bad man. He's just, he's going to be a lot of fun in the NFL. So I know we're going to go get some different things here uh, and really see how we can make this thing all, all come together. But uh, let's see here. Oh, Antonio. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tony Mafi. He's going to be one of those guys that he's got the potential to start. He does. I think you just got to clean up some of those things with him and just go from there. And then see what happens. You get uh, Shamari Connor there in Quindell Johnson. Shamari Connor is just a ball hawk, not even that hard of a decision. And then I want to go running back here. I want to go Tyon Evans. I think you can, I think you can get him a little bit later on. Davis Allen was fun. He was a lot of fun. Uh, ooh, Trevor Reed. I like me some Trevor Reed though, like as your backup tackle. Trick Thomas. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm going to go with Reed here because, again, it really helps, especially with th those guys that are going to be going in the draft. I, I really like it here. And then you get Tyon Evans here, uh, hopefully, if he's still there. I love me some Tyon Evans. Dude's a load. Like, him and Travis Etienne are going to be a lot of fun. Like, that's just – that's nasty. And so then you finish this whole thing up here. Do you take Malik Cunningham? Do you do it? No, no, no. Austin Stogner. Justin Shorter, though. I really, uh, I'm going to go wide receiver. Well, no, wide receiver's not a huge need. Austin Stogner. <sighs> I'm going to go Austin Stogner. I'm doubling down on tight end, but I don't care. Here's why. Darnell Washington's going to do it all, but you always need a guy, another guy you can bring into camp or uh, into, uh, you know, onto the 53 that's going to help you out. I love it there. So. First off, first thing we do is we trade down uh, from 24 to 28. You get an extra three and a seven out of it. You know, you're only moving down four spots to be able to get back in the third round. I love it. So, and, and then off the bat that uh, you get Emmanuel Forbes there, the tall, lanky corner. Uh, yes. Does he have to add some weight? Yes. But feed this guy a couple of peanut butter and honey sandwiches and uh, yeah, he'll be fine. So Emmanuel Forbes, he's got the size. He's got the speed. You absolutely love it. And then finally, uh, you're going down into the second round, getting Darnell Washington. Listen, I don't know why PFF doesn't like this guy, but he's going to go a lot higher than 71 I, I he's at least his low end i would say he's going to go 50 so getting him here at 39 i think it's great value you get uh, an absolute weapon the dude can block he can catch he can do it all he can run uh him and trevor lawrence are going to have a very special relationship for a very long time luke whipler here the center. I think you can move him into guard. I think you can really try him out there. Uh, if you want to try him out, Luke and Luke Fortner. Hey, you got to love it. So just bringing in a guy that can play guard for you, doing a lot of different things there and helping it out. I absolutely love it. And then uh, Moro Ojomo here. He's scheme friendly in a 3-4 or a 4-3. I don't care. This man just blows it up. Uh, I like his pass rush plows, uh, prowess, excuse me, as well as his ability uh, to be able to set the edge. Yes, I love Moro Ojomo. He's going to do some special things. Isaiah McGuire, fantastic value in the fourth round. Not even hard. Go do it. Uh, go go make it happen uh Jacorian bennett the corner coming up out of maryland i also love this one uh he's a guy that if you can get him in the fifth round that's just a steal like uh, he had a heck of a combine uh i think him and uh emmanuel forbes are going to immediately come in and transform your corner room uh, absolutely no question 
Antonio Maffi, uh, the guard here uh, out of UCLA, I think he's got, honestly, second-round potential, but he falls here. Uh, if you could just shore up some of those things, I think he could be a future starter. Uh, Shamari Connor, the safety up out of Virginia Tech, really like the value here, uh, and I think he's going to be a, a fantastic grab here in the sixth round uh, because, at the very least, He's a guy that, uh, if he's not a starter, he's a very high-end backup that's going to help you a lot. Also, Trevor Reed. I know tackle's not necessarily a need, but hey, uh, having quality offensive line help uh, and being able to do it, I think that's how you do it. Uh, and then also, yeah, so you get his teammate uh, a little bit later on, Tyon Evans out of Louisville. The dude, him and Travis Etienne, one-two punch, and you know that Doug Peterson and company, they want to get some more running back help, so you love the the value there. Uh, then tight end, Austin Stogner. Again, uh, you're doubling down on tight end, just like you doubled down on corner, but at the end of the day like I want I, I want Darnell Washington to catch 70 passes for over a thousand yards and then I want Austin Stogner to clear the path for Tyon Evans to have over 500 rushing like that's what I, I see this being uh, and then Austin, Austin Stogner can also catch some passes for you so uh, you really like the value there you really like how this whole thing uh, unfolds and uh, overall they gave us a B plus so it is what it is there but that's it we build the defense we also get some offenses of help uh, and we build the trenches let us know what you guys think about our latest Jaguars mock draft make sure you guys like and subscribe down below leave a like and and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. We love every single one of you. Down in the description below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. Also remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at the sportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover. But let us know what you guys think uh, about our latest Jacksonville Jaguars mock draft where we build a defense.